Hello there, time for another Met Gala Celebrity Makeup Bag episode on my favourite beauty look this year, Suki Waterhouse in Stunning Pastels. If you're looking for a wearable way to play with colour in summer, Suki and her makeup artist Cedric Jolivet delivered the ultimate inspiration. Watercolour, pastel perfection, that rush of blush and ethereal eyeshadow that floats from one colour to the next. I'm sharing exact product details from her look, plus some other items I use to recreate it at home. Apologies to Rob Pattinson for cropping him out. I'm only looking at the eyeshadow. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Great to keep working with the website builder I used to make MatildaOnVideo.com. All of my previous celebrity makeup bag episodes are in a blog post over there. Cedric Jolivet is a French makeup artist based in LA. I've loved his work with Lily Reinhardt, Adria Arjona, and Tessa Thompson in the past. YSL Beauty posted a product breakdown of Suki's Met Gala look. Slightly incomplete though, so I've done some speculating and swapping. Suki wore YSL All Hours foundation meant to be a mattifying full coverage formula that feels weightless. Me and matte coverage don't usually go together. I have dry skin so I love a dewy hydrated glow so I'd pick a favourite sheer base then add powder right where I need it. I'm going with number one to Chanel revitalizing foundation, a formula I fell in love with last year, still obsessed. It's a stunning light silky fluid. You can stick to really sheer coverage or build it and I love the natural skin like finish. Then a bit of By Terry Mini Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder on my T-zone and to help set any spot concealing. Their loose tinted powder is great but if you're going to the Met Gala or a wedding, that's as close as I'll ever get, I'm taking this tiny compact for seamless, never cakey powder touch-ups. No YSL look is complete without their iconic Touche Clar Illuminating Pen. Suki wore this. It often appears in my celebrity makeup bag series from Daphne Bridgerton to Zoe Kravitz, even Kate Middleton. This all-over brightening pen is a fantastic under-eye brightener, something that's been back in my everyday makeup bag lately for lovely, light, radiant coverage. Touche Clar does have a sister now the high cover radiant under eye concealer with medium coverage more help for dark circles Suki's list just said touche class so it was probably the original her romantic, bountiful blush was created with two YSL New Lip and Cheek Balmy Tints. Suki was in the shade Pinch, a peach nude you can wear on lips and cheeks for a natural flush of lightweight colour. It really is a balmy tint, thicker consistency than I expected, more like a balm.com type balm. I use my pointer and middle fingers in quick patting and swiping motions to blend. It's not a glossy balm either, more of a subtle sheen and the tint is sheer but quite buildable so this is a great sunny summery peach. Suki also wore the shade Flush, a richer cherry red. As soon as I read about this balmy shade, the ancient Josie Marin coconut watercolour cheek gel a came to mind. Rest in peace. As far as current sheer reds in my collection go, Rare Beauty's Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in Dewy Red Grateful is a possibility. A much more pigmented possibility, so you only need a tiny, tiny dot. Or Nude Stick's Nudie's Bloom Dewy Blush Stick in Poppy Girl to cheat a hot weather cheek. This formula is much more sheer, glossy and fresh than the nudies mattes that have made a big comeback since Sophia Ritchie's wedding. I was spellbound by Suki's eyeshadow and the way it met her blush. YSL listed their Couture Colour Clutch but no shade name and as far as I've seen no current colourways would provide all of these pastels. Some have peachy pink possibilities, but no lilac or light green. I luckily discovered a new brand with a perfect pint-sized pastel palette to play with. Bake Up Beauty's Micro Palm palette comes from the brilliant mind of a previous celebrity makeup bag mention, makeup artist Jo Baker. I'm sure you'd recognize her incredible whimsical work with actress Lucy Boynton years ago. She's one of my favorite artists and this is her brand. Jo and her co-founder, musician, Grace Gosted launched a small edit including a few credit card sized palettes. This gives me the Suki pink into lilac into green. I'll prep with my NARS primer then use a blending brush like Refer 01 or MAC 217 plus more precise shapes like Refer 02 and MAC 219 for the inner corner green. Any of these shades are so fun to wear in your inner corner with nothing else on your eye. Colour that's cheeky but sneaky. 
Of the eight buttery shades, it's worth noting the pink, peach, and purple are pressed pigments. And in the US, pressed pigments aren't approved for use in the immediate eye area. It's a warning brands have to include. I asked Jo about it and she said pressed pigments are eye approved in Europe, for instance. It's just something that's still flagged in the US. I've personally been applying them on my eyes with no issues, but if you do have very sensitive eyes or are more wary of irritation or staining, you might like to be more cautious. Some pink and purple alternatives for you. Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Liquid Shadow in Nearly Rose is one of my all-time favorite pink shadows. Creamy, easy to blend, doesn't set too quickly. Pigmented though, so for Suki's style, I'd start with a little bit in the outer corners and blend it inward. Then a purple pick. I rediscovered an old Mecca Max single shadow in Lilac Like Whatever. This is an in-house brand at Mecca in Australia, but ColourPop certainly have great, well-priced, colorful palette options too. No mascara mentioned in YSL's breakdown, but all the other stars that went to the Met Gala this year wearing the brand wore their Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara, so there's a chance Suki was wearing it too. For a start, I need help making my straight lashes look like Suki's. I think she had some false lashes on too, but I'm going to use my Refer Eyelash Curler. I really like this one because it captures all lashes for a natural fanned out curl, not an abrupt vertical lift like some leave on me. If we're talking extreme volume, one of the most volumizing formulas I've tried is Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara, a violin shaped brush to thicken and define lashes from root to tip, fluffy, flexible fullness and buildable volume. Natural enough for daytime, but you can really layer it for night. This curler and mascara combo might have just replaced my Dior Pump and Volume. So much length, lift and volume. Suki's Pastel Pink Pout was YSL Rouge Volupt Shine in shade 150 Nude Lingerie. It's a light peach pink, so I browsed some dupes online and spotted Rare Beauties with Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm in Praise. This is a pop of peach, so I pat it on to mirror Suki's look. They're actually quite pigmented, so I think of these as more of a sheer lipstick. A lipstick lipstick option could be the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 shade In Love with Olivia, inspired by Olivia Palermo's put together style, a peachy pop of pink pink on me, so it belongs in the same shade family. A creamy satin finish in Charlotte's K-I-S-S-I-N-G formula. More on the formula Suki wore though, YSL Rouge Volupt Shine is quite nostalgic for me. I used to have a bright deep pink in my early 20s, a lifetime ago in makeup years, so the incredibly sweet mango scent takes me back. 121 Beige Satin is a recent find, a pearly deep beige nude and everyday rosy brown. These are called an oil in stick, so they have a very light feel with six natural oils that melt in truly hydrating? Not for me. Better to think of it as super light, sheer shiny colour with slight oil slip. If you're like me and love learning what people in the public eye actually have in their makeup bag or what their makeup artists have used, there are plenty more episodes where this came from in my celebrity makeup bag series, all listed on my blog. I love that my Squarespace site can be like a little glossary of previous videos and topics, and the videos can even be played in each post. They're right there. I just paste in the YouTube URL and it pops right up. You can find that previous Lucy Boynton episode there with Joe Baker's wonderful work. If if you're getting creative and launching a blog, website or online store, you can visit squarespace.com Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Thank you for joining me to recap this marvellous Met Gala look, so in awe of Cedric Jolivet's work creating this masterpiece on Suki Waterhouse. Let me know if this look inspired you too, if you're bringing out any pastels or bright shadows this summer in the Northern Hemisphere, what sort of products do you like to work with, and which looks stood out to you from the famous Met Steps this year. Thanks for watching, see you next time.